We have started the day with lots of earthquakes in the Reckoness Ridge, which is the uh, oceanic part and part of the land in the Reckoness Peninsula of Iceland. In the southern part of it, southwest part of it, you can see the depth is around 5 to 7 kilometers. These are tectonic earthquakes, which actually are helping to open up the ground. This is the pool of the Eurasian plate. And uh, creating this space, the voids, the cracks and fissures uh, necessary for the rise of the magma in the Swartzengi volcanic system. Even if eruption happens, we will not see it. These are under the sea. We are lucky that Iceland exists and actually we can see when these things happen on the land, like what we saw in the past few months in the Reckoning Spanish in the Swartzengi volcanic system. So I have a video about this. This happened a few days ago also again, and before that, other things. So please watch those things. And uh, I've explained a lot of details there. We have many earthquakes in the Reckonista. That is the tip of the Reckonista Peninsula of Iceland. Uh, the earthquakes are started today and they're concentrated and clustered there, almost short of being a swarm. Look at the size of the earthquakes and the concentration. Many of them also are happening probably at the, near the shore in the ocean, Atlantic Ocean. Uh, and this is the latest distribution of them, time distribution. The biggest one was around short of the 2.6, 2.7. And they're all happening along the uh, boundary between the Eurasia and the uh, North American plates. At the moment, we don't have any eruption, uh, unlike what we saw in the, for example, Vega Desville, that you have a cluster of the earthquakes. But nothing in theory can stop it to have an eruption in the ocean. However, we will not see it. This is happening in the deep waters. What we can see is that uh, they released the uh, fault lines engaged in one point and transferred the movement to the next, which will be the L dwarf and the uh, uh, source angle volcanic systems. I have a video about this previously made in a similar situation before a, a recent eruption in the uh, source angle. Please watch that. A cluster of the earthquakes has started in the Reckonesta, that is the end point of the Reckoness Peninsula, a peninsula in the Iceland which extends from the west to the east. And when we have the earthquakes in one location along that, usually it transfers to a series of a strike slip faults toward the east. We are lucky that the Reckoness Peninsula is, that in, is in that lo uh, direction, longitudinal. That makes it very easy structurally to see how the uh, earthquakes are transferred. This is a peninsula, as I mentioned, it has geothermal activity there. We have a geothermal power plant there. And uh, past eruptions also have happened there, like many parts in the Iceland. Uh, is Iceland created by these activities? When modern earthquakes happen in one location in the west, it gradually, through these transform faults and volcanic system, transfers toward the east. These are the strike slip faults that practically we discovered the plate tectonics by studying them on the ocean floor by the magnetic uh, stripes that we could see actually on our charts. And this has created these uh, volcanic systems, we call them. They are kind of bodinage landscape of fault lines and rift valleys in the Iceland. And uh, usually they start in the Reckoness Ridge in the Atlantic Ocean. Then they move through this uh, transfer uh, of the strike slip fault movements to accommodate the movement toward the uh, Reckoning Peninsula. This is where the earth crust is uh, splitting. Atlantic Ocean was created in this way. And the roots of this is deeper in the mantle of the earth, where we have the uplift and convection of the heat, heated material coming to the surface, North American plate and Eurasian plate practically are separated through this uplift of the material, through this extension of the oceanic crust, where everywhere else Gondwana was joining together. There we are splitting of the earth, and these are rooted deep in the core mantle boundary of the earth. Uh, we may have eventually an eruption, but not directly at this moment. But through this uh, strike slip fault lines, we have these volcanic systems, including the Swartzengi volcanic system, which uh, is active at the moment, and we are expecting any moment an eruption there. It may eventually lead also to eruption in the Swartzengi volcanic system. We have to wait and see.